Hello, everybody, and welcome to Research as a Reader. It's just lovely to have you all here together with us at this, uh, this true gathering of scholarly communications people. I wonder if this is like the first real big gathering we've had to get together since, well, actually, our last year. So um, we were incredibly lucky last year. We kind of missed the, the pandemic just about. We were all together at the BMA House, and there was really no talk of, uh, of a, a virus crisis or anything like that. And only a week or two later, everything was being closed down. So uh, just uh, uh, it was an extraordinary situation. And we thought through the year, what can we do for R2R? We thought about going hybrid, but here we are together at least in an online form. There's people from all over the world together with us right now. So um, that's just great. I think there's people from about 25 different countries joining the conference. It's one of the advantages of online is it makes it more accessible for people to join. We've got quite a lot of people who've got up early from the Americas to join us and will be joining us more through the morning. Uh, so if you think you're the, the earliest riser amongst all our participants, put something in the chat or on Twitter and claim that prize. If you've got up at, uh, I don't know what it is now in Seattle, Seattle it's probably 2 a.m. or something. So uh, you'll get a prize for that, I'm sure. Also, there's people up pretty late. So we've got people in China and Australia and places like that. Uh, hi, Danny. So uh, we've got people who are staying uh, engaged, so they end up staying up all night. Uh, so that'll be fun too. So um, about half of you are new to R2R. So uh, half of you have been to, to an R2R before, half of you are brand new. But in a sense, we're all new because of this online experience. It's quite an exciting new place to be. Um, I'm going to say a few words of welcome to you all and also just give you a little bit of guidance just for five or ten minutes about the, the program and the platform just to get you kind of oriented and started and then we'll we'll get going to the main part of the program. Um, so uh, first of all the fire exits are just here at, oh, no wait um, well I don't know where your fire exits are but figure it out for yourselves. Um, but let's talk about the the program and the event itself. First thing to say is that it's continuous. Um, so we're going to be kind of live and continuing throughout the two days. It's going to be quite intense. Um, now, you can take a step back. I mean, so it's, it's, like, it's like the theatre, not the DVD. So if, you, if you're having coffee and fit, you can step away, but you can't like pause us. Um, and do take time to duck out for a break. You may need to, to get a coffee or, or see how the kids are doing with their homeschooling or whatever it is you need to do. So feel free to step away, but we'll be carrying on uh, while, while, while you're away. Um, so let's say what about the formats and the platforms. So we, we couldn't have really face turning R2R into some kind of like just broadcast webinar. It had to be a, an interactive conversation. So we, we've managed to find a way to do that. Now this bit here is a bit like a webinar. It is at least live, but I'm just a talking head talking to you. Uh, you can make some comments in the chat and, and, and so on, but it's not, it's not kind of very interactive. But, um, and we thought about, you know, could we make it more interactive? Could we have a 160 person Zoom call? Uh, and that just didn't feel like it was gonna work. But I have got an aid memoir of an audience. I don't know if you can see this. So, you know, here's an audience from last year and I created a kind of simulation of what it'd be like if we were all on a Zoom call together. Um, so that's kind of up on my screen here, ready to remind me that we're all here together. Um, but part of it is much more interactive. So, um, of course, you know, the, 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 uh, the networks are crucial. So uh, the, the networking we have in the, in the networking rooms, but also one-to-one -one networking on this on-air platform will allow you to kind of talk to each other and, and really communicate effectively. So that's kind of crucial to what we do. Um, so you'll see how the virtual rooms work. And uh, I think that might be a bit unnerving for people. There's use, useful guidance. You will have had this in the post or you will have uh, seen this online. Um, but for all the platforms, there is guidance. We'll find our way. And the first few hours are likely to be a little bit chaotic. And then we're going to get pretty, pretty good at that, I think. Um, so also workshops. Workshops are very interactive. They're also taking place in that virtual room space. I think we're really going to enjoy uh, joining a workshop and then meeting again over three occasions to, throughout that, uh, that two days of the conference. So uh, I think that's going to be uh, a very exciting, interactive part of, of all this process. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit now about the adaptations we've made for the program itself. Um, so uh, we've tried to make it more uh, palatable online and, and people were saying to me all through kind of um, the last year, Oh, goodness, I couldn't face two days online. But the variety and the interaction and those kind of things, I think are going to make it 
um, make it uh, less tiring than like a two day Zoom call. What we've done with the structure is firstly, fewer presentations. So it's more panels, more interviews, more kind of dynamic interactivity, more networking, that sort of thing. Um, we've also made the sessions a bit shorter. So I think you're going to be frustrated. Some of our speakers, you're going to hear them like 15 minutes and you're going to want more, but it feels like that's the right way to go for online. But it's all going to be quite um, hectic. Now, what you're going to see is the online timetable. So in on air, you'll see the, the, the program timetable over the two days. Um, you should see that in your own time zone. Uh, I hope that's working. We're kind of managing on a GMT basis, but you should see your own time zone. There's also a, um, a downloadable uh, timetable and downloadable program, which you, if you go into the exhibit area and find Research 3, that you'll be able to download that. Or if you opted for the mail shop, then you'll get a, you have a physical program. I thought people, despite the kind of environmental impact, might want to have a, a physical program in their hand. So that also is potentially quite useful. About half of our delegates uh, opted to have the, the physical mailing. I hope that reached you. If you did opt for that, you also got this wonderful jigsaw puzzle, the r our jigsaw puzzle, which your children will be fighting over right now. So uh, that's going to be a joy for everybody, I'm sure, uh, on the day. So that's kind of what's going on in the programme. What about content? I'm not going to go through all the content. Um, I'm going to just highlight a couple of things. So firstly, the next thing that we're going to do is, is the live opinion survey. We want to interact with you, get your views, draw that out of you, make it a, a, an opportunity for you to engage. So um, Danny and Rob are going to run that in just a, a couple of minutes. Um, the other thing to talk about is the workshops. So I have, I've mentioned those, that that's going to be very interactive. You're going to go into the virtual rooms, you're going to meet in your workshop, there's going to be additional tools to play with and then you're going to reconvene. And then in this plenary environment, there's going to be feedback at the end of the second day. Um, at the end of the second day, there's also the su summary. If you've not heard that before, it's better than it sounds. It's a kind of recap of everything that's in the conference over the past two days. But um, it's, it, I, you know, Mark Allen is great at this and he's going to be um, insightful and funny and brilliant. Hi, Mark, good luck. Um, uh, but that's really worth staying for and tuning in for. And I hope that uh, people will be able to, to stay for that. Okay, just one thing I want to mention about sponsors. Um, I'm very grateful for the sponsors. You can see the banner I've got here for, for our sponsors. Uh, it's a bit like a footballer giving an interview after a match. Um, but we're very grateful to our sponsors, and particularly to uh, Ross uh, Chemistry, a gold sponsor who provided a lot of support, financial and otherwise, for the event. A lot of RFC people here at the conference, so do kind of hang out with them. Also, like to thank Atapon and Wiley and Trend MD, our silver sponsors, and also all of our other sponsors. Please go to the exhibit area and see their stuff. If you just click on that, you'll see what's uh, available by way of information from them. Okay, so the last thing I would mention is the feedback surveys, and we're going to encourage you to, to fill out the feedback surveys as you go through the conference. That's downloadable again from the R2R area and the exhibit site. So really, I'm just going to finally thank everybody who's contributed to this. It's just great. So many people have worked so hard to bring this conference to you, but I also want to thank you, the participants, all of you here today joining us for what you're doing. So now we're going to go over to, to Rob and Danny. So what you need to do in a moment is go back to the timeline and click on their section and they will magically appear in front of you to do the participant survey. I know Rob's doing this at home whilst homeschooling his children, so if they flip back and forth, that would be great. And uh, uh, Danny's in Australia in the middle of a thunderstorm, so that's going to be exciting too. So thank you very much and over to the next session.